Okay. Can day th- day three. Day three. Feels like we've been here for a month. So we're in uh, south of France in Cannes. For, for those of you who don't know what we're, we're, we're talking about. Um, and it's day three. We've actually been here since Saturday. So we've been here a little bit longer just taking in the beauty that is the French Riviera. Which I would do again next year. I think that prelude is nice. You need that time. You warm up. You actually see people who are also doing the same thing, which, you know, I think in the future we could be a little bit more thoughtful about thoughtful about that. But I'll definitely do that again. Yeah, this is our first can. I mean, a lot of the people I've been talking to, they've been coming for seven years, 13 years, like veterans. There's, yeah, there's vets for sure here, which is cool because I feel like a lot of the other conferences we go to in the States, they don't have the same pedigree. I don't know, following. This seems like, you know, it's a big event. I'm really surprised at the production value of it, actually. They turn the entire beach into basically just like, they're almost like private events and like stations for a lot of these different brands. Um, what have you been most impressed by, Jackson, or surprised with? Um, most impressed by or surprised with? To be honest, the content of the talks that I've sat in on were more thoughtful and, you know, in the weeds than I would have expected. Because there's a lot of big Fortune 500 agencies of record here, and they have, you know, huge budgets. They're primarily doing brand marketing, and it's tough to tie that back to like step changes in the business or results, which is fine. But, you know, we're being in performance marketing, that's just not our paradigm. And so, like, I definitely expected there to just be a lot of fluff. Um, and kind of like tooting our own horn in this industry and like commercial for commercial sake. But I've been impressed with like the people that I've listened to and how they talk about the balance between measuring brand performance and brand marketing versus, you know, performance marketing, paid social, more like low to the ground motions. Yeah, I was pretty impressed by uh, the McDonald's uh, CMO. He actually had some really good points. uh, He did. In that Amazon port discussion. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool to know that CMOs at the highest level. This is what you know we th- we think about. They're they're thinking about the the things that we're talking about. I mean, I've, I've heard a fair share of things that I think are surface level, very surface level. But the percentage of things that I've heard where I was like definitely nodding along uh, was higher than I expected for sure. And just to give one really clear example, actually, that I'm thinking about right now is. I believe her name was Amy Hughes. She's the CMO of New York Life. She was asked a question about how how do you measure brand marketing versus performance marketing? Like, how do you know when brand marketing is working? And she said exactly what I would have said, better than I could have said it, which is there's, a, there's three components. Uh, number one is behavior. Like, can you measure behavior in for in uh, the form of site traffic conversions comments just engagement just looking at like you know when you when you put something out or when you take it away is there uh behavior that's affected the second was testing and control so she they have i mean they're a huge insurance company they're setting up actual control metrics for their marketing programs and then testing for incrementality and then the third thing was she talked about media mix modeling and she's like, you have to use these like three vectors, but across enough of a time span that you can actually see a trend line. So it's really not for the faint of heart. I was just thinking though, like any brand doing less than 25 million just doesn't need. They don't need it. I think the MMM, need so- MMM. The MMM solutions for like the D2C Shopify ecosystem, they're trying to cater to, you know, the performance marketing like habits of a lot of these founders and marketers. like refreshed mmm every week or every day or whatever the you know the time scale is but yep you really need a a lot more time to see things play out i think the biggest the easiest analogy is working out i was just talking to max about this but it like it takes time you know it needs to be a habit that you're exercising completely totally what are you most excited about so we have two more days we got today which we're about to go to Amazon Port for Brooklyn Beckham, we sake, and then we're going to... Colin I'm going to see... We're dividing and conquering. I'm going to see Colin and Samir, who are, if you don't know who they are, uh, huge YouTubers in their own right, incredible creators, and their whole platform is about 
unpacking what's working in the creator space and for creators. Like they just did a, an interview with Adam Asori, the CEO of Instagram, which was, I was listening to at 3 a.m. Great, great stuff. So I'm looking forward. It's like a workshop apparently. So I'm looking forward to like- Today at Meta Beach? Yeah, Meta Beach. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we're gonna go see Brooklyn Beckham at Amazon Port and then- Wait, what is he, what's his thing? I'm not even sure what they're discussing, to be honest, but I was talking to Pablo, CEO of Wisake, Brooklyn's a co-owner, and we're gonna just film some content, so. Oh, cool. We were just gonna help him out. And then Colin's house is at four, what's going on there? They're hosting these like round table discussions. It's basically like a mini keynote where they have speakers of of note and they just talk to like a table of people basically but it's very cool kimball musk will be there tonight and a few other cmos that i i couldn't place i'm very excited about tomorrow at colin's house because uh someone i admire very much scott galloway is is talking and joining will be talking with brian collins so two people i really admire as brand branding experts and marketers and entrepreneurs so very much looking forward to that how is brian uh yesterday oh he's great he's he's <laughs> he's full of energy and uh my, my favorite thing is you know these chateaus in the south of france they're all like this limestone off white with light baby blue shutters and brian is wearing a bright orange hat which is just like complimentary colors you know he just pops he, he likes that hat i've seen he that before yeah but he's he's a good, very good dude. What else though beyond the events? Anything else I'm excited for? Yeah, or just like just interesting. Whatever things. trouble we're gonna get into, you know, you never, you never know. First night we got into some trouble. First ones in the club and uh, Kevin Durant, Anthony Anderson, Will I Am. They just came through. Will I Am? I'm sorry, I have to just say this. Will I Am was not there. <laughs> Will I Am was there. He's not there. Well, validated. that was not him. That was not him. That was him at the and club. And I heard no, he was say Kendrick Lamar was there. Kendrick Lamar was not Ken, there. Kendrick Lamar was not there, but Will I Am was there. Okay, I trust you, but I I saw you pointing at him, and it did. I grant you, it. He was wearing the same like the hat. Glasses. He was wearing the same hat and the glasses that he was wearing at Colin's house. I'm a fan of Will I Am. I'm good with faces. <laughs> you literally couldn't see his face because <laughs> of the hat and glasses. I I just I want to say I I felt bad for Kevin Durant. He just, well, I guess I shouldn't feel bad for him, but you know, I thought there's it was nothing kind of to feel funny. bad about for Kevin. He was Durant. standing, he, had, he was just paid to stand by the DJ booth, couldn't leave, couldn't really leave. He could take couldn't a bathroom move. break, I think he took one, but he smoked a cigar in the club with Anthony yeah, yeah, Anderson, yeah, yeah. yeah. off season. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, uh, Kangaroo Jack, uh, live from Cannes. We will report back at the end of this conference, yeah, after these events, we'll report back some good takeaways. Thank you.